and Salt Lake will face the number 16 seed, Butler, champions of the Plain District. They won the title game by 32 points. Absolutely beat down their opponent in the Plains District Championship, and it's their third all-time appearance in the national tournament. South Plains out of Texas is the two seed. We're here with head coach Mike Helmer after finding out they're the number 15 seed. You're going to face Salt Lake. Um, obviously, interesting selection show today. What are your thoughts on, on the 15 seed and who you'll face in round one? Uh, you know, we're just happy to be there. And as far as Salt Lake goes, I know they've got a great program traditionally, but haven't, haven't seen them um, in the last year or so. So we'll have to start working on film and get ready to go. Back-to-back -back national tournament appearance appearance is the third in school history now. Last year you lost in a tight 51-50 matchup in the first round. What do you got to do differently to make it past that first round next Tuesday? We've got to have a good start. Um, I think we'll be a little more prepared of being used to, you know, what how it works down there, plus having – a number of sophomores back that can help uh, help the newcomers understand the way things work and just relax, go down and play our style. There's a number of new teams that are going there for the first time, at least in recent years. Um, you as a, as a returning team and some others in the tournament, what advantage does that give you um, having been there last year, been to Lubbock, you kind of know the arena and things like that? Yeah, I think we're used to the, uh, you know, the, the way things are different in comparison to the regular season. Um, you know, last year was a buzz. It was just everything was crazy. So we're happy to uh, have a little experience and hopefully we can keep doing this. It's Monday now before noon. What's the week look like as you prepare for the national tournament? Get to work. Practice. Let's go. Let's be ready. Um, we'll, we'll lock in for the rest of the week. We'll practice every day. Um, give them maybe uh, one day of a shooting day, but the rest of the time we'll be practicing and uh, um, get ready for that bus trip. I have to ask and congratulate you, obviously, co-coach of the year, back-to-back -back years. Um, and then you have Tamara Nard, which we're going to talk to in a second, as freshman of the year, and three all-conference players. Talk about those players, the awards, and the accolades that they received after this regular season. Uh, you know, everything they got, in my opinion, they deserved. Uh, they work hard, did things they need to do. Um, my coaching staff did an awesome job this year. And fortunately, I get to reap the reward of that co-coach and um, of the year. But that's because of my players and my staff. And so... Um, we're happy about it. We'll uh, we accept those things, but you know, now the focus is on the next step, and we're ready to move on. Okay, um, back to the national tournament. What's it going to take to to win a game at the national tournament and, and advance to the next round? I know we take it one game at a time. What's it take at this level in March to play good basketball? You know, you got to click at the right time. We feel like we're playing. We got to have a great week of practice. Um, you know, it's a little concerning to have that long a time off. But uh, other than that, we're trying to be ready to go and then, uh, you know, have a little luck. Yeah, I have a little luck. Everybody's got to have a little luck in down there. But the uh, ball's got to bounce the right way. got to make shots. But at the end of the day, be great on defense and, and uh, just be ready. All right, Coach, anything you want to say to Grizzly Nation out there? Thanks for all the support this year. We appreciate it. Um, I know it's a long trip for any of you that come. We appreciate that. But if not, it's live stream. So please follow us and keep cheering us on. All right, Coach, congratulations, Thank and you. good luck with the national tournament. I'm going to bring in Camille Downs, sophomore <laughs> guard from Fredericksburg, Virginia. Camille, you've been in the national tournament. You've been to Lubbock. Yeah. You've been through this process once. What advantage is that going to give you going into this year's tournament? Um, just, know that, just to know that we know the core. We're just used to, like, we've played there before. Well, all the sophomores have. And honestly, that's the only advantage. It's just, just another game. You were, you were Region 6 All-Tournament Team MVP. What does that honor mean to you? Um, <laughs> it's a lot. Like, that puts a lot of weight on my shoulders, especially for this tournament, because I feel like schools might think, dang, since she got MVP, let's like put do a box one on her or just do a box one on me and T. So it just brings a lot of pressure. But I'm just playing my game. Let's see how everything goes. At the region tournament, you guys got a first round bye. Mm -hmm. You played Saturday, had a day off, and then won again Monday and Tuesday. National tournament, to win a natty, you're going to have to go five days straight. What's it going to take mentally and physically to make that happen? It takes a lot of work, hard work. And honestly, it's a mental thing. Body, we have to take care of our body this whole week and so we can be prepared to play for as long as we can for five days straight, yeah. It's been an awesome season, um, a lot of ups and downs, back-to-back -back conference championships for you, back-to-back -back region championships for you, return to Lubbock for the national tournament. Mm -hmm. what, is, what has this season meant to you still with you know, a week and a half to go? The season is just like last year, a repeat of last year. It's nothing new. 
we're just doing the same thing we did last year, just trying to, trying to keep it going. And hopefully next year does the same thing and then becomes a tradition. What do you want to say out there to all the fans in Buko Nation? <laughs> Buko Nation. <laughs> That's it. All right, good luck, Camille. All right, we're going to bring in freshman center Tamara Nard now. Tamara, congratulations on making it to the national tournament. 15 seed facing Salt Lake, obviously a team we haven't seen before, but um, obviously you haven't watched any film or prepared for them yet. But what's your mindset going into a tournament game like this where it is a new team that you haven't seen and you have a week to prepare for? Um, just ready for Coach Elmer to, um, like, uh, give me the scout. Yeah. yeah, give us, like, the scouting and prepare for it. So I'm just ready for that. You were named Freshman of the Year in the Jayhawk Conference Eastern Division. That, that's, a, that's a big accolade. What, is it, what does that mean to you? It's very big for me. This is like something like huge for me because it just opened up new beginnings for me and like new opportunities. So like I'm glad I got Freshman of the Year. You really started playing really, really well late in the game. Before the championship game, I think you, you didn't score in double figures, but you didn't need to because your team, I mean, Rayvon Nero and Camille, they were, they were going crazy. Jalen had a great game. Yeah, I think you scored eight in that game. But prior to that, you rattled off six consecutive games of 20-plus points with a 33-point game mixed in there. What, what, what changed or what's different now that's making you play so well offensively? Like my momentum, like – all of my teammates, like they're like they're supportive, no matter what like what goes on or off the court. Like they support me either way, and that just builds like confidence in my heart, and it makes me like want to play more. And a lot of people tell me like they like to see like me play on the court, so it just feels good to hear that coming from other people. So I took that and I just start playing with heart. How does it feel to have another week and a half of basketball here in March and be one of the 24 teams left playing women's basketball at the JUCO level? Um, it feels kind of different. Just coming from out of high school and coming here, it feels different um, because I'm not used to like playing for a long time because this never happened to like us in high school. So I'm not really used to this, but I'm getting used to it. So it feels good, though to keep playing, to be able to play again. And I'm just ready for whatever comes. All right, anything you want to say to Buco Nation fans out there? Um, thank you for supporting us and being on our side. Go Buco.